Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film today's video because we are gonna talk about the brand new perfume from the Canadian niche perfume house that is called Zoologist. And the new perfume is called Dragonfly. I got mine in a travel sized bottle and unfortunately it is not labeled yet with a beautiful picture of Dragonfly because I got mine a little bit earlier, but this is how the bottle of this perfume looks like and I absolutely adore gorgeous designs of Zoologist perfumes. So, Zoologist is the brand that creates perfumes that are inspired by different animals. They have bat, civet, hummingbird, rhinoceros, panda and a lot of others. And the newest perfume is dedicated to dragonfly. So, when I came across this brand for the first time, I was so impressed by its concept because there is nothing like this brand out there and all fragrances from this brand smell so good and so different from all the other perfumes on, that are, uh, exist on the market and you won't find anything like them. So, if you're interested in... Um, other perfumes from this brand. I have already filmed a review on all of them, so make sure that you check out the description box down below where I will leave a link to that video. So now I really want to read you the official information about this perfume and now we'll move on to the ferns and I will tell you how it smells. So, drifting through swaying reeds and billowing stalks of piperus, a breeze gives chase to a sweet morning mist. A perfect mirror revealed upon still green water is shattered by a sudden shower, casting the gentle romance of lotus and iris into a frenzied, passionate rhythm. High above, tendrils of sunlight nudge away the grey clouds, their warmth draving dense aromas from the dewy surfaces below. Beneath the dwindling ripples, restless nymphs stir and begin to emerge. Under the soft moonlight, the newly hatched dragonflies spread fragile virgin wings poised to explore the world between pool and sky. Like a glade captured in delicate strokes upon an impressionist canvas, the rich green floral medley of Zoologist dragonfly transports you through a maze of moody tones and melancholy weather. This olfactory journey echoes the cycle of cobalt pound from the crackling light of the dawn to the thick blanket of nightfall under the gaze of the fleeting dragonfly. So that was the inspiration for this perfume. And dragonfly is definitely a very delicate, fragile and soft like a feather scent that has gorgeous longevity. And this is something particular about perfumes from this brand. They all are very different from each other, from other perfumes that exist on the market, but they all have crazy longevity. Dragonfly is definitely the most delicate perfume from this brand, but you know, the longevity is really on point. So, let's see which notes we have in here. Top notes are aldehydes, halotrope, lemon, peony and rainwater. And those notes act like a really soft summer breeze. Then we move on to the heart notes, which are cherry blossom, clover, iris, lotus and rice. And those notes create really softly powdery scent, which is the main scent of this perfume. So, the notes of amber, moss, musk, papyrus and sandalwood complete the base. I really like how Dragonfly combines two opposites. On the one hand, this is a really delicate, softly powdery, floral, even musky scent. And on the other hand, there is something slightly mossy and green about it. So, Dragonfly is definitely a powdery perfume. And powdery fragrances are my most favorite perfumes out there. I always go, go for a powdery fragrance. And I'm so happy that now the Zoologist came out with a powdery perfume. But I think that sometimes powdery scents can be too heavy to wear them in the summer because, you know, they all mostly uh, feature the note of iris and that note can be just too heavy, too overwhelming, too much for the hot time of the year. When Dragonfly is really appropriate to wear it in the summer. It is actually the perfect scent for the summertime and I am so glad that now I have the most great powdery perfume to wear in the summer. Because, you know, yes, it is creamy, yes, it is powdery, yes, 
it is um, warm and sensual, it is even slightly sweet, but it has those gorgeous green twists, it also has something from the lemon from aldehydes in the opening, so the opening is really bright. When you apply the perfume, you get really a great mixture of different notes and then the perfumes definitely gets powdery, it is kind of milky, creamy, almost almondy and uh, more to the base it gets even a little bit um, sweeter. So I really adore this scent, it is just a very versatile perfume, you can wear it in the morning, you can wear it in the evening and if you like powdery scents this is just a must-have, literally, and not only you will enjoy this perfume, also other people who surround you will love this scent because it has gorgeous projections so you know other people will actually smell it and you will get a lot of compliments believe me so overall this is a really gorgeous scent for the summertime as i've mentioned before because yes it is powdery yes it is floral it is very vibrant but it is very delicate and it has gorgeous longevity so it lasts on the skin for many hours and on the clothes even longer which is great it won't evaporate too quickly you know when it's hot perfumes uh, tend to evaporate quickly. This one definitely not. So the concentration is 15%. Uh, percent. It is a pretty high concentration, so that's for it has really gorgeous quality and longevity. And if I should describe this perfume with a color, that would be pastel tones of yellow, purple and green, because I associate those colors with summer. And all in all, gorgeous perfume, Definitely recommend it to everyone, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, it will be gorgeous on everyone. And that is basically it for this review, I hope that you enjoyed watching it and it was helpful for you. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. Also make sure that you check out my description box down below, where you will find a link to the video where I review other fragrances from this brand, as well as the official website of this brand, where you can find a sample of dragonfly or you can purchase a full-size bottle and stay tuned I post two or three times a week so you will always get something interesting to watch and please leave me a comment down below and tell me which video you want to see next so we'll see each other in my next video really soon bye